Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a Jenkins pipeline for automating Docker image creation. Once the image is created, we are going to upload the image into Amazon ECR. Right? And then once the image has been uploaded into Amazon ECR, we are going to run Docker container inside Jenkins itself. Okay? So this is the use case. right? I do have my sample Python based application set up in GitHub. I have already dockerized that by creating a docker file. So this has been already checked in in GitHub. I made this uh, as a public repository. So you all should be able to check out the code. Okay. And then I do have one Jenkins EC2 instance up and running where uh, I have already installed Jenkins, Docker, right? And uh, we also created uh, IAM role uh, and attached that IAM role to this EC2 instance so that this EC2 instance can access ECR, right? Okay, so, so I have already done that. And then we are going to use Jenkins and Docker uh, in order to automate uh, the image creation. And then once the image is created, we are going to upload that uh, image into ECR, right? So this is exactly what we are going to do, right? So our Jenkins pipeline should automate the build process, right? It should uh, automate the uh, Docker image creation. It should upload Docker image into ECR, and then we should be able to run uh, Docker container in Jenkins itself, right? So this is what we are going to do in this our lab. Awesome. So like I mentioned, this is our prerequisite, right? So Jenkins is up and running. So if you see here, this is my Jenkins already up and running. I have already installed Docker. I have already installed Docker pipeline uh, or Docker plugin, right? So all this uh, Docker uh, plugins have been uh, installed, okay? And if you would like to know how to set up, uh, you know, uh, or how to set up Docker inside Jenkins, it, in, you know, if you would like to know how to install Docker on Jenkins, you can actually click on this link to learn how to do that, okay? And then, um, we also have installed the plugins, okay? And then we have already created a repo in uh, ECR. So that would be over here. So if we go to services, if you go to Elastic Container Registry, uh, I have already created uh, that repository. You see here? So this is the repository where we are going to upload our Docker image, which we are going to build using Jenkins, okay? Uh, and then, yeah, so we have already created IAM role also. Okay, we have already created an IAM role. I have already attached to that IAM role uh, inside my Jenkins. For example, I will quickly show you if we go to EC2 instance, um, if we click on this EC2 instance, okay, if we go to action, security, modify IAM role. Uh, sorry, I think, yeah, so this is the role which already has assigned, but if you want to see it other way around, yeah, go to security. Yeah, see here. So this is the role I'm talking about, right? So if you click on this IAM role, this is going to show you uh, what kind of policies we have attached to it, right? So as you can see here, this IAM role should have this policy, Amazon EC2 Container Registry full access, right? So you need to attach this uh, IAM role to that uh, EC2 instance, okay? So that is also done, okay? So basically all our pre-requests, everything has been set up. And yes, we need to open up port 8096 also. I believe I do have that port 8096 because uh, once we run uh, Docker container, we are going to access um, Docker container on that particular port number, right? So let me quickly make sure. Okay, so we are going to open up 8096, perfect. Awesome, so all our prerequisites, everything has been uh, taken care. So now let's get started. To create a Jenkins pipeline okay so yeah so let's go to Jenkins so this is a Jenkins so I'm going to click on a new item I'm going to say my awesome uh, docker pipeline job you, you can give any name it doesn't matter click on pipeline and let's say okay and uh, let's see where is our github repository right so remember I mentioned about github repository uh, so this is a public repository Okay, uh, this already has a Python based application. <coughs> you see here, this is the sample application, right? Okay, so this is a Python based application. This is a HTML file. This is going to print this message when we try to access the application. 
Um, I, I also I also have a Python script here. See guys, so this is a Python script, okay? So everything is there. And if you look at the Docker file, I have already Dockerized this, right? See guys, so we are installing uh, Python and then this is the place where we are copying the source code and we are exposing the port number 5000. And then finally, this is the command to run uh, uh, the Python uh, app, right? So we have already Dockerized that, okay? So we are going to check out this and then start uh, working on, right? Okay, so let's go to pipeline. Now let's start building the pipeline. So I'm going to do a uh, kind of a declarative pipeline. Okay. To start, our first stage is going to be checkout stage. Okay, and then I want to say agent any, okay. I do have just Jenkins master, so you can run it on anywhere you want to. So I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, so now let's start building the code for checkout, right? So this is our repository, okay? So I'm going to quickly use uh, the snippet generator here. So click on pipeline syntax, go to checkout from version control. So I'm going to mention the repo URL. Since this is a public repository, you don't have to provide credentials. Click on this one, see here, this is the code for checking out, right? So let me go ahead and then copy that over here, okay? So apply, save, let's first make sure this is looking good. And then we are going to start building the next stage, okay? So first let's make sure our uh, pipeline is working. Okay, I do see some failure. Let's see. Oh, I did not put steps. Sorry about that. So I need to add steps block. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so now we are able to check out the code, right? So yeah, perfect. So let's quickly go ahead and then add the next stage, which is nothing but build stage, right? So we want to build the Docker image, right? So I'm going to say steps. Okay, I'm going to say um, Docker build. Okay, so how are we going to build it, right? So we are going to use this particular code because I have already installed uh, Docker plugin and then Docker pipeline plugin. Okay, so let's go ahead and then start writing the code for the build stage, right? So I'm going to copy the code from here for the build stage. And it should be having a block like this. Okay, you need to have a script block. And then this is the code for building the uh, Docker image, right? Perfect. And then we are going to use a uh, Docker registry, right? Okay, so which registry we are going to use? You see here? So this is the registry we are going to use, right? So we are going to use uh, our ECR. So this is our URL, okay? So let me go ahead. So let me go ahead and then define that over here, right? So you need to have an environment block. And then this is the registry, right? So this is your ECR registry. And then we are going to provide that information. So this is, this is going to come from your ECR, right? So let me go to ECR. And yeah, so the, basically this is the one, right? So this is the whole thing. So click on this one. And then I don't need that. You can put that over here. Right? Okay, perfect. So this should build uh, the Docker image, right? Perfect, so why don't we go ahead and then run this. Yeah, so as you can see now, it is able to, it was able to check out and then it was able to uh, build, as you can see here, right? See, these are the uh, steps which we have declared in Docker file, right? Wow, see here, it was successfully able to build the Docker image. So we got many success. Wow, see guys, so we were successfully, successfully able to build the Docker uh, image, right? Perfect. 
and then let's move on to the next step so what is the next step yes we would like to upload the docker image into this ecr right so this is the repository this is the uh, the repo name right so this is a repo url right or, or, or elastic content registry url okay so let's go ahead and then say uh, docker image upload or you can say docker push doesn't matter okay and then you need to say steps and then we need to have a script block okay perfect so let's copy the code uh, so yeah this is the code right so what we need to do uh, we need to log in into ecr first right so that is what this particular command is okay and then this is the one for pushing it okay so let me do one by one so let me first copy this code okay you see here this is for logging in into ecr right using aws cli command you see here and then once you do that we should be able to push the docker image right uh, into ecr so how i'm yeah i think i need to make sure the account id is uh, updated here uh, that account id is nothing but this one right you see here uh, scroll down and then make sure the account id is updated okay perfect and then we need to add the code for uh, pushing the docker image into ecr right so that is the command okay so okay so again we need to update the account id account id is here if you are wondering how to get the account id yes go to ecr so that's your account id right there okay all right so let me add that oh i think i copied here twice no no i think i'm good i think okay so i did have one extra okay perfect so this should uh, do that and then our ecr repo right so what is our ecr repo our ecr repo is this one right? perfect right awesome so this should uh, push the docker image into ecr right so let's quickly go ahead and then test it um, let me run build now and if i go to ecr of course uh, right now you see only one image tag right so after this pipeline has completely oh okay so this is this has completed right perfect if i go ahead and then say refresh wow see here now this is the lat latest uh, image right which has been pushed uh, from uh, jenkins right so this is our latest uh, image tag perfect right so everything is good so far as you can see here, see here, we were able to check out the code, um, do a Docker build, right? We were able to build the Docker image and then we were successfully able to upload it to uh, ECR, right? And then I have added a couple of uh, stages here for doing uh, or, you know, to spin up a Docker container from the image, right? So how to do that? If you see here, I do have two different stages, right? The first stage, this is for stopping uh, if there are any docker container running i would like to stop that okay as you can see here i'm stopping that right and then uh, this is the command which is going to run uh, or provision a docker container from the image which we have just built okay so let's do that right so let me copy this code let's let's go there Okay, so this is the one which is going to stop if there are any Docker containers running. Okay, so this is the container name as you can see here, right? And then we are removing the or, or stopping the Docker container as you can see here, right? Okay, so that is going to do that. And then this particular uh, stage is going to, right? Uh, let me write it like this, right? So basically that is for stopping and then finally we are going to do docker run right docker run okay again steps okay so let me copy this yeah you need to have script block also copy that
okay and then what are we doing right so here this is the account id right so we need to put in basically we need to replace this whole thing with our uh, image url right our uh, docker image right so basically this is the one which we have pushed isn't it so i'm going to put that okay so if you see here yes we are uh, running a docker run command it is going to run in the dash mode and if you see here the port number 5000 which actually comes from here right so if you see here yes we are exposing port number 5000 i am actually mapping it to run on 8096 right okay and then this is the uh, name of the container and then this is kind of uh, you know the image name right so that should uh, you know so that should run docker container okay so let's go ahead and then say bill now so right now as you can see here it was able to do all of these and then stopped if there are any previous containers running and then finally it was able to provision a docker uh, container right so how can we test this right so let's look at the console output so if we look into the console output, so as, I, as I said, we have uh, exposed or we have mapped to run on 8096, right? So right now our Docker container is running on port 8096. So how do I test that? So go to your EC2 console. Okay, copy this. copy the public DNS name or IP address doesn't matter and then A096 right wow see here this is the desired output right right so basically what we were able to do we were able to create a Jenkins pipeline okay for automating docker image creation and then uh, you know uploading a docker image into ECR and then we would also we were also able to run uh, docker container inside uh, Jenkins itself right so basically we were able to complete what we discussed here right yeah so that's it guys thank you for watching the video